Hello everyone, this is Thunderbob. Uh, today we're going to show you how to stream games from your computer directly to your Legends Ultimate Arcade um, using the Arcade Link software. Uh, we're going to be streaming games from Steam using Big Picture Mode, and uh, I'll show you some tips and tricks to make that work best, how to install the software, and how to make everything run. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, to get started, we need to install the software, which is on the BYOG page. I'm going to have a link in the description below. You click on the download button, start the download. It's pretty quick. It's a small file. You open up the installer after the download's done. It's going to have to extract first. Should just take a second since it's a small file. And then you've got the actual application you can run. There's also a guide in here if you need a walkthrough. Just follow along the wizard. It's pretty simple. The only thing I would point out is it'll prompt you to install DirectX. You probably already have this. Um, if you do follow that prompt, it actually wants to install like a a Bing toolbar or something. I usually don't do that. It's kind of uh, useless. So it's up to you. But uh, I, I select no when that pop up comes up. There it is. No, oh, thank you. And this will install all of the tools required for the Arcade Link to work. Um, if you've already got this installed, like I did, It'll actually tell you, hey, this is a newer version. Do you want to update to it? I'd recommend running the newest version. And there we have it. The last thing it's going to want you to do is restart your computer. Now, after you've restarted, you'll have this new nifty icon here. Uh, you put in your email address, which you've registered with Arcade uh, Link already. And I'll have a link for that as well. Um, password is what you've already created. It does also want a computer name, which you can see right here is where you can find that. You right click in the bottom left of your computer screen and go to system and your computer name will be there. Another thing I'd recommend is to make sure that your resolution is set to 1920 by 1080. Um, you can run into some problems if you don't. Next, I want to show a couple of cool features of Steam I don't know if everyone's aware of. So Steam has a really nice content tagging system. Uh, you can search from your uh, library. For example, I just searched for all fighting games. I'm selecting all those fighting games. Basically, uh, selecting just the ones that I know will run well on the arcade system. And then simply right click on any of them. And then you can add them to a new collection. I'm going to name it Fighting Games. Just makes it easier when you're actually uh, running this on the cabinet to find these games at a glance. And you can also do this for um, you know other genres. Here I am searching for all of the shoot 'em up games on uh, in my library um, basically just selecting all the ones that i know uh, are kind of arcade style shooters and putting them in their own group just like the fighting games this is a really nice feature when you've got a huge library i have over 800 steam games i've collected over the last 15 years um, stuff from humble bundle stuff that i've got through promotions stuff that i've purchased some of these will work well, not all of them. Another cool feature of big picture mode and uh, Steam in general is the, is the ability to add third party games. So you can come up here to the menu and, and literally any EXE on your computer you can add as a third party app. Specifically, I'm going to add CoinOp to all of my groups here so I can actually easily launch CoinOps from big picture mode without needing to ever go to my desktop, which is a little unwieldy when you're controlling it with the trackball and, uh, you know, the, the arcade link controls. And there you go. 
So next I'm going to show you how to get into big picture mode. In the top right corner there's just a button up here to launch it. You can also right click on the button in your system tray and go to big picture mode. From here you go to your library, you go to games on the left. Now this shows all of your games but you can also go to this filter and then go to the bottom and here are the uh, groups that we created. Fighting games, shoot 'em ups, and arcade. I've played pretty much all of these at some point. They all work pretty well. Um, there's some mild configuration needed to do on some of these, but most of them just work with the six buttons. Uh, here's the shoot 'em ups. I've tried several of these, not all of them. Um, and then I've got just a grouping of games that I think might work um, with the arcade. I haven't tried all of them, but stuff I want to test out over time. Um, and then here is launching coin ups from within the Steam interface. It does seem to take a few extra seconds to launch uh, when you go this way, but there is an interesting side effect by opening it within the Steam interface. You can actually access the Steam overlay, which would allow you to chat with other Steam users. Uh, if that's your thing, might be worth it. Uh, I use it mostly just for the convenience factor. And you can actually access that Steam overlay even within a game you launch, which I find interesting. Just showing that the game will launch. Um, there was the Steam overlay briefly. Yeah, as far as I can see, uh, everything you know works pretty well, even launching this through the Steam big picture mode. So at this point, we're actually going to go to the cabinet itself and uh, show you how to launch this. The computer name should just show up under your uh, BYOG menu. You simply select it, and now you've got control of your desktop. You move around with the mouse. A is uh, your left click, and C is your right click. It all works pretty much like you would assume. There is some funkiness, sometimes things will lock up, so you might want to have access to your computer nearby just in case you have problems. Um, here I'm launching Steam. Launching big picture mode. Just like I showed you before, you can then go into those filtered groups to launch games. Now I'm just gonna cut right into a couple games and just show you, um, you know, how well they work. So here is Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Uh, this works really well. I played through quite a bit of the single player campaign of this already, maybe four hours or so, all from my arcade cabinet. Um, if you're a Dragon Ball Z fan, uh, I grew up on this, you know, in the 90s. It's a lot of fun. Um, controls perfectly. The one modification I did make is uh, I, I changed the rewind button to actually be my button to call in. Um, a different character. You can do it with a combination of buttons. I just found it a little easier to have a custom button for it. Most of these games um, just work. It's a six button configuration, though you do need two button combinations for some things. Like sometimes you'll need two buttons for your grab or you know press the four buttons to change characters. Um, sometimes you have to configure that, but most of them pick up that you're using um, or already have set up that uh, where a six button controller will work. So next up is Soul Calibur. This is probably my favorite fighting game series. I got really into this back in the day, Soul Calibur 2, um, for the GameCube actually. Me and my friends would play this endlessly. Um, I didn't really have to configure anything for the controls. Um, there's a couple of two button combinations for some things, like the grab, um, that you pick up pretty quickly. Um, Overall, a lot of fun, um, works really flawlessly. Uh, I haven't played this game in five, ten years maybe, and uh, I picked it up right away. Um, you know, it feels natural. And then I had Killer Instinct. Um, this one I have just recently picked up, I only played a few minutes of it. I did have to do a few things to get it running. By default, it popped up with a really weird resolution. When I was streaming it, I had to go in and manually change it to um, 1920 by 1080. Um, 
And then also the left controls were not working at all when I first launched it. I think maybe I had the system st stuck in um, the navigation mode instead of the game mode. So I manually changed it to game, closed the game out, reopened it. And after changing the resolution, everything seemed to work. So you might need to play around a little bit with the settings on this one, but after I did so, um, Killer Instinct worked. A lot of fun. I'm probably going to give this one uh, some attention as I just got it on the Steam sale. And then we've got Mortal Kombat 11. I just picked this one up as well. Uh, I'm kind of new to... I haven't played Mortal Kombat seriously since Mortal Kombat 3. Um, so I'm still learning all the controls. It seems like pretty much everything works, though you might need to change the default settings just a little bit. It maybe is not quite as um, well set up as it could be. Um, but this is literally the first game I played on it, and I won without much trouble. Um, obviously, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to jump online and play without getting some practice in, really perfecting those controls, but. You know, if a buddy walked over and wanted to play together, you know, this is a, a, a great uh, fighting game. I uh, primarily use the Arcade Link just because of the ease of use. You don't have to plug in your HDMI cable. You don't have to plug in a USB cable. Um, you, know, you don't have to worry about setting up the Bluetooth and making sure it's connected every time. It just works. I run the app. Uh, I've got a gigabit uh, connection at my house, and I've got both the computer and my cabinet on a dedicated switch. So the network is no issue. Like I've got a connection that, like, you know, this is running pretty flawlessly. Uh, I think I have like a two ping, 60 frames per second generally, as long as the computer can handle the game. Uh, and here's Street Fighter. Um, runs pretty flawlessly. Um, the only thing that you need to do for Street Fighter is oftentimes disable your antivirus for whatever reason. I can launch it on my computer when I'm not streaming, but when I'm streaming it will not work unless I disable my AVG antivirus and then it works fine. I think this is also the case if you're streaming using um, the BYOG servers for whatever reason. Um, it does not work unless you disable whatever antivirus is running. Otherwise, the controls all worked. Um, six button layout works pretty well. Um, something to think about when streaming using the arcade link is your computer basically sees the ultimate, the Legends Ultimate cabinet as like two Xbox controllers. Um, by default, it assigns um, an Xbox button to each of the buttons and the uh, pad. So you can actually filter Steam for games that have controller support. And um, you can basically look at that list and know a lot of those games are going to run. You know, they're not all officially supported by at games. They're not on that list, but I've tried several of them. And for the most part, they'll work. You might need to do some mild configuration setup. Um, but they function. Um, as long as they'll run with an Xbox controller, they'll work. Now, you don't want to, like, load up Counter-Strike. Even though you can play that with an Xbox controller, you would need two sticks, and I just don't think that would be a great experience. But something like um, Raiden, you know, um, something like Streets of Rage, obviously. Streets of Rage uh, 4 that just came out. Um, they just generally work. You don't have to do a lot to configure them. Anything that would run on an Xbox controller that's not an FPS is probably going to run pretty well. Uh, I've tried dozens of games. Um, they all run reasonably well. You sometimes have to go in and change the resolution or configure the controls, but it's a good experience generally, and it's it's worth it for playing some modern games on this thing. Because if you think about it, this is basically, um, you know, at this point, a Soul Calibur 6, Street Fighter 5, Tekken 7, Dragon Ball Z Fighters. I've got a cabinet for all these modern games, and a lot of these don't even have official arcade cabinets. Um, 
if I have some friends over for a tournament, literally I can say, what game do you want to play? And I could play any of them. It's great. Um, so overall, I like the Arcade Link. I like streaming from my computer. If you've got a good computer, if you've got good internet access, I would definitely give it a try. If your network is limited, you might want to try to use Bluetooth or USB or um, you know the, the HDMI connection. There's a couple of different options, but if you're on a good network, you've got a good computer, definitely give this a try. So thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe. Uh, if you've got any uh, questions, any comments, please leave a message below. If there's any games you have tried out on your Legends Ultimate cabinet and they work well, I'd love to hear what games I should try next. So, thanks for watching.